So we have Zyre, they are an electric car company. And what we should realize after reading through this question is that this is dealing with the topic of a make versus buy analysis. Now, unfortunately for Zyre, they did not wait for us to do this analysis. They already decided to purchase the part. And so ultimately what we need to figure out is, does it cost more to purchase the part versus what they were already incurring to make the part? And if so, by how much? Or did the cost decrease? So there are going to be three steps that we need to go through. But real quick, let's talk about the make versus buy analysis because I want to make sure that you understand what the analysis is really geared towards. Now for a make versus buy analysis, we do need to consider both qualitative and quantitative factors. Now I'm not going to be the first one to say that qualitative is more important than quantitative. But for the CPA exam, it's going to be more quantitative based just because it's easier to have in a multiple choice question. So with that said, well, when we're talking about the make side, right, there's going to be costs that they incur to make the product. And if they were to buy, those would be considered avoidable. So think about the cost of materials, the cost of labor, and maybe anything else that is sort of variable in nature. And then on the buy side, really just what do they have to pay or what is the cost to purchase the product, right? So that's what we need to factor in to the analysis. Now, since Zyre decided to purchase the part, well, it's for $8 and they need 10,000 parts per month. So our step one is just to figure out what the total cost to purchase those parts are gonna be. Real simple, it's just the number of units purchased, which is 10,000 times $8 per unit. So the cost to purchase is $80,000. Now, step two is a little trickier. This is where we're going to talk about the avoidable costs, right? The costs that they would incur if they are making it that now they can avoid. So that is going to be the direct materials, which is 40,000. The direct labor, that's 30,000. Now, for fixed plant facility costs, it's fixed, right? So they should keep incurring it. However, it does say that they can now rent this idle capacity for 5,000 a month. So we're going to say that that is a positive 5,000 that they can avoid, right? They're basically avoiding that cost by renting it out to somebody else. So that totals avoidable costs of $75,000. Now in step three, we just need to take the difference. So if they're now paying 80,000 to purchase the units and they're only basically getting rid of $75,000, the change in monthly cost is 5,000. That's gonna be an increase in 5,000. So the correct answer is increase 5,000. Now, if I was asking, should they do it or should they not buy from the supplier? I would say, well, if it costs more, why go buy it? Now, going back to what I said in the beginning, how there's some qualitative factors, maybe there's some pros of buying it, right? Like the supplier is just more technologically advanced. We don't really know. But from a pure cost perspective, we would say, well, it costs more, so let's continue to make the part. However, like I said, it's just asking what is the company's monthly cost change, and that's going to be increase $5,000.